we have an infinite number of forward circles between each whole number. This video puts forward a reason why, based on the dynamic geometry of the universe. Each forward circle rests upon each fraction in its lowest form. The baseline or number line represents a circle with an infinite radius that in this theory represents the timeline of a geometrical process of energy exchange. Note that each arc intersects its corresponding circle at right angles, just like electromagnetic fields. Ford circles can also be thought of as curves in the complex plane. Ford circles can be generalized from the rational numbers to the Gaussian rationals, giving us Ford spheres. In this concept, the complex numbers are embedded as a plane or manifold in our three-dimensional space. In this theory, we have Ford circles in our mathematics because the universe is a continuum based on a geometrical process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The, ge the geometrical aspect of this process is based on Huygens' principle that says every point on a light wavefront has the potential for a new spherical light wave. We can think of every point as a potential for a photon-electron interaction or coupling. The interior of the sphere naturally forms our three-dimensional space. The spherical surface forms a boundary condition or manifold for positive and negative charge as the future unfolds with the exchange of quantized energy. In this theory, the light photon and electron are two aspects of the same process. They are not properties of space and time. They form the characteristics of three-dimensional space with one variable in the form of time. Light and matter in the form of electrons moves as waves with particle characteristics as a probabilistic future comes into existence, quanter by quanter, moment by moment. 